Today's test is going to be running my propane generator in the garage and I'm trying to identify how much carbon monoxide is uh, in the garage with running on propane. So this is an Onan 7.5 JB generator. So it's 7,500 watt generator and it's been running so far for about a half an hour out in the garage. So we're gonna take this outside and we're gonna see what the numbers are. So I'm gonna turn it on right now. It's gonna do its countdown. Now I'm probably 50 feet away from the generator at this point. I'm actually in the basement and I'm gonna go outside. I wanted to talk here first because you want it'll be really hard to hear when I get out there. So uh, we're gonna see that this is on zero right now and we're just gonna take a quick walk outside. in this garage with both garage doors wide open. Here we are, 87. Now I'm on the other side, obviously. And what I'm going to do here, hopefully we can see this. Now I'm out, I'm about a foot outside, standing a foot outside the garage, down to 20, 18, 17. I suspect it's going to go low, even the outside here. Yeah. So I'm three feet outside the garage and I'm back to a safe level. So, what we're going to do is shut this off. My uh, temporary setup is running on a barbecue pro 
main tank. Just shut it off. And what we're going to do is we'll monitor the levels. See how long it takes to clear out. So I'm back in about five feet. So now, I think back here it was 50 some when I was in here a few minutes ago. So you can see, it doesn't clear out right away, does it? Now, like I said, there is a mild wind outside, which is good. Where are we here? It's so hard to see. I don't know if you're going to see that on the camera. 20. So the generator's been off for, I don't know, give or take a minute. Still 28, 27. Now I'm a foot away from the garage to the outside door. Down towards the back of the garage. Kind of in the same area but about 10 feet away on the other side, towards the back. So it's 23 over here. Let's just see what happens when I go back into that spot. I can definitely feel air coming in here from the outside. Okay, so now this is the exact same spot I was before where it was 50. So we're 32 right now, so I just try to go up to the ceiling again. I can only get like a foot off the ceiling at best. It's 27 up there, 26, 25. It's going down. Now we're going to get onto the ground. Okay, now keep in mind this is a few minutes of the generator being shut off. So 29, 30. Now it's interesting how it seems to be higher down low at this point. I'm almost on the ground. I'm going to take a couple inches off the ground or 42. That's kind of interesting, huh? So we get up a little higher. It just could be with the draft, the way the wind's blowing in, it just could be circulating up higher. And then coming down low, see how it's a little lower up top? Look at this, it's practically gone. Now I'm walking towards the middle of the garage. This number might be hard for you to see it. Sorry about that though. Not great light in here. So we're at 12, 11, 9. Now I'm two feet away from the outside and we're back to zero. Okay, now we're in the middle of the garage. Give you a reference as to where I am, kind of in the middle of the garage, and we're at zero. So I'm gonna go into the back again. Okay. So still got a slight measurement here in the back, and I guess that's what four or five minutes of the generator being turned off, give or take. So, and the door's open, obviously. If I had the clo doors closed, I'm sure it would stay in here a little bit longer. And now I'm on the side with the generator, a little higher over here. Now there's where the exhaust is. So we're still 10 over here. If you can see that, it's 10. I'm 10 feet away from the generator. I suspect as I get closer to the outside, it'll go down, but who knows. Okay, now I am 
almost on top of the generator. I feel wind at my feet. Cleared up. Okay. So now I'm going to go back to that spot I was. Middle of the garage on the generator side. Seems to be all clear over here now. Okay. I'm going to go back to the very back. Okay. I'm almost against the back wall. Picking up a little here. Okay. And again, this test here was to test with the garage doors wide open, running on propane, and the exhaust is about, I don't know, maybe 12 inches into the garage, blowing into the garage, but as you can see, it, it can blow straight over and then out. But you can see it doesn't quite do that, so there you go.